guys what's up welcome back to my channel so Halloween is in two days pretty much so yesterday was my first time ever doing any sort of Halloween makeup I did like a sugar school have sugar school zombie type thing and I'll post a picture somewhere around here so I figured you know what I need to push myself I need to do something other than glam and natural makeup I'm gonna jump into this Halloween themed makeup so the Halloween makeup that I'm getting ready to do I like this because this is super super easy like this is not my forte whatsoever like I always look up to all the makeup artists that can do all the special effects and Halloween things that is still makeup that's not the genre that I do but I still appreciate it because it's art you know so I'm going to do something that's super super simple I'm not going to tell you guys what it is you have to try to figure out what it is but I'm pretty sure once I get halfway through you're gonna know what it is but like I said it's super easy and yeah Let's get started. All right, starting off with any black coal eyeliner pencil that you have. And I am drawing just a very not symmetrical circle. You're going to do this around both eyes. Trust me, you do not want this to be perfect. The more crazy and just off it looks, the better. Next, we're going to go in with some Maybelline Gel Eyeliner and an angled brush. And we're going to fill in both of those circles. Again, um, nothing perfect. You don't have to try to make it a straight line. You don't want straight lines at all. And sorry, Caesar's in the background playing. And really make sure that when you're putting the gel liner on that you are really patting it and caking it on. Because if not, you will see some skin showing through. So just make sure you're probably packing it on. And you can probably use a bigger brush than what I'm using as well. I'll probably make it really easy for you. And you're going to fill in both of those eyes there. And then once you get the eyes filled in, I'm using this Ben Nye White Cream Clown Foundation. If you're someone that has sensitive skin, you might want to try this. I'll link below where I got it from. It's really not expensive. It didn't break my skin out. My skin wasn't irritated at all. And I'm just painting my face. I'm using a Real Techniques foundation brush. And it's really, really easy to blend out, believe it or not. At first, I thought it was going to be very, very stiff, but it's not. And then once you get to the eyes, again, you don't want anything super symmetrical. I'm just really patting the foundation on where we lay down the black eyeliner. So you're just going to do that for both of the eyes. Don't do the windshield wiping motion. Don't swirl it because you don't want to mix the colors together. But you kind of want that gradient kind of grayish beat up around the eye type look. So just pat it on and lay it down. I don't know what Caesar's doing in the living room. He's acting crazy. Next, I'm just taking a sponge, and I really want to, you know, like I said, just get that really beat up grungy look around the eyes, and just do that, you know, wherever you feel. There's no right or wrong way to do this. Most importantly, you really want to make sure that you are setting that gel liner with a black eyeshadow. I'm just using my Morphe brush palette, and I'm just packing that black eyeshadow on. Next, I'm taking some more gel eyeliner, and I'm not making any symmetrical lines whatsoever. I'm just picking and choosing where I want these lines at. They can go up, down, sideways, left, right, however you want. Don't make it perfect. And after that, I'm just going to take a clean eyeshadow brush, and I'm just smudging those lines. Because like I said, you really, you really, really want this to look kind of gross and grungy. And now I'm just going in painting my lips a little more, and guess what? I bet you guys know what this is. Black Knight the Joker. That is one of my all-time favorite movies. It is so dope. Heath Leather. Heath Leather. Heath Ledger was just amazing in this movie. So, yeah, get your red lipstick and don't make it perfect. Just smudge it on up there. And then, of course, you really want to set this with a red eyeshadow. And I just really want it to buff it in because I just want it to, to look kind of really stick. And remember, you want this to last for as long as you're going to be out as well. So set it, smudge it, make it look gross and grungy looking. Next, I'm going all out. I have some green hair chalk here. This is not permanent. It will wash right on out. And as you can see, my hair is super, super dark. So it, yeah, it's going to stain it. And yeah, that is going to complete the look. I just put some green hair chalk just on the sides of my hair so you guys could get the effect. And that's it. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like it, share it, and leave me comments. Happy Halloween and be safe.